Welcome back to the Siri Poetry Library. I'm Dan Siri here to read you The Goondock Saints. This is the poem series I wrote about the film The Goonies. The Wishing Well. This is about Stephanie. I really hate Andy sometimes. Not an hour ago, she was cruising in Troy's sports car, wanting to spend Friday night with no one else. Now she gawks at Brandon Walsh as if he's in Duran Duran. Come on, come on, where are you? You are in the clouds and we are in a basement. Seems my whole life has been in the basement. Andy and I were friends since pre-K. Ate the same fast food, wore the same Calder clothes, sang along to the same dumb songs on the radio. It all came crashing down in middle school when the sheep were suddenly too cool to hang with the goats. Dorky little Andrea blossomed into the beautiful, desirable Andy, and I got taller. We hardly talked first two years at Astoria High. She reached out junior year because she earned her place with the elite and had nothing to lose by talking to a former best friend. The cheerleader was getting eyes from jocks and rich kids. And what did I get? Crooked smiles from D&D &D players and goonies. It's not like I didn't try to be popular. Andy did invite me to a party once. Got dolled up, hair, makeup, a new dress from Caldor. I even left my glasses home. Uh, five minutes in, old Steffi Wonder stumbled into a wall. The girls laughed and laughed. Who invited her? Pathetic. She doesn't belong here. Total loser. Andy offered to walk me home, but I wouldn't let her leave. She was with her new friends. Why should a ghost of grade school pass spoil her night? I rushed past in tears, miraculously found my way home in time for Night Rider. I lay in bed that night, wishing Michael Knight would pull into my driveway, take me away in his Pontiac from Astoria High, from Oregon altogether. I snuck out at 3 a.m., went to the wishing well. Dreams of generations of historians lay in the cold waters below. I took that night dollar I was saving so long for the right wish. Don't let me be popular. I wouldn't know what to do with it. Don't let me live far away. I'd miss mom and dad. Just let me meet someone like me. He doesn't have to be Michael Knight. He could be one of those D&D &D dorks, even, God forbid, a goonie. Long as I can be me with him, not wish to be Andy or anyone else again. Help me, Dwight D. Eisenhower. You're my only hope. July 7th, 2014. Okay, so I was working electronics one night in Walmart, and we used to be able to put movies on back in the day. You know, safe for work. And uh, one of the movies I used to play regularly was The Goonies. And, you know, you'd be putting away DVD players, you'd be putting those little spider tags on TVs, and... I just had the movie playing in the background, so mostly I'd listen to it. But I'd seen the movie so many times. Uh, one of the few of my friends that has actually seen it in the theater. I'm that old. <laughs> and certain lines play different when you're just listening to it. And it's almost like a radio play that you know the story. So you're just listening to it being acted out. And when Steph says the line... You were in the clouds and we are in a basement. For some reason, a line that never really made me laugh or got to me in any way, I just killed me. I was cracking up at that line. I had forgotten all about it. And I was thinking, you know what? I'm into this poetry thing now. This was like 2014. I was two years into it. I says, I'm going to write a poem about Stephanie. And then the problem with that was as I was writing a poem about Stephanie, I'm like, well, I have to write about my other favorite character in this story who is coming up in a little bit mouth so i love the two of them more than the other characters and i love all the other characters but mouth and staff were my favorites um so i started writing about them then i'm like well then i gotta write about the other ones and then i gotta write about this character and little by little i had a whole series which basically serves as a retelling and a sequel to the goonies that we never got and I'm very thankful that we never got a series. I'm thankful that it's way past the time. They can't even make it into a Netflix series at this point if they wanted to. Because the characters are too grown up. 
And their kids would be too grown up too, so you can't even make it about their kids. My one fear is that they're going to do what they're doing with the new Ghostbusters and make it about the grandkids, because it's <coughs> almost getting to that point where these guys are going to be so old that they're going to make Goonies, and it's going to be like these little guys running around that are like six and seven that are the grandchildren, because that's how much older everybody's getting at this point. But let's just hope that day never comes, you know? One of the great magical things about the films of the 80s is a lot of them did have sequels, but a lot of them didn't. And I'm glad that there's no Goonies 2 or, you know, E.T. Part 2 or anything like that. There are certain other franchises that I think could have had more sequels. Like, I think we could have got a few more Ghostbusters movies, a few more Gremlins movies. Um, but, you know, we got what we got, and that's that's how it is. Um... I just don't like the idea of reboots and sequels that are late. If you're going to do anything, make it into a series. Like, I think Cobra Kai has done a very good job. But Cobra Kai should not be an anomaly. What they should do is, instead of trying to make more Predator movies, more Terminator movies, they should just make shows. It's much better. The Terminator series was fantastic, and if it was made in the age of streaming, it would probably still be on the air. Um... But it was at a time that was just before the streaming thing took off. So unfortunately, that was a series that was canceled. A lot of great shows that, you know, based on movies, I felt never really got a fair shake. And now that we can do streaming series, that's probably the best way to do something like this. If they should do it. Because I don't want to go pay money to see a Goonies movie. But if they put something on Hulu, I'll check it out. Okay, so we'll be back with more poems. The next one is coming up is about mouth. Signing off.